Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's great to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. And I'm sounding the alarm on the biggest Windsor scandal since the last huge scandal involving Prince Harry and his scheming wife, Meghan Markle. This one is an absolute doozy, folks. So we're talking bombshell allegations that the perpetually misbehaved runaway roles may have been straight up lying and staging fake narratives around the birth of their supposed first child, Archie. Seriously, Lady Colin Campbell herself is claiming to have explosive proof that Harry and Meghan orchestrated an elaborate PR ruse around Archie's arrival back in 2019. Okay, guys. Now, before we move on today, I just want to take a little bit of your time and I really want to thank you all for your enormous love and support. It really helps us out here at the channel and we do really appreciate it. But I do also see that 50% of you or more of my precious raw viewers are not actually subscribed to the channel. The shock, the horror, guys. This is unbelievable. This is on the level of Meghan Markle. I mean, come on, guys. What are you waiting for right now? Click that big subscribe button and do your good deed for today. That would be amazing. That would be absolutely awesome. So, um, I mean, let's get started with today's video, and we just want to say a big thanks for your support, really. So keep showing us your love. Now, let's get back on to today's topic, guys, and get right in to today's video. So now, according to the controversial raw biographer and professional pot stirrer, details regarding the timing, location, and circumstances of Archie's birth were completely falsified by the duplicious Duchess and her emasculated sidekick. You know, just a good old-fashioned fraud perpetrated on the public and palace alike by these two contemptuous grifters. Colin doesn't mince words, alleging that the entire Archie birth story was staged, managed to suit Harry and Meghan. Those who are basically fighting words in the aristocracy are not uh, essentially accusing the disgraced world of being con artists and liars for the jump with baby Archie. But wait, there's even more sinister in the saga. In Lady C's estimation, the revelation contained in the official Archie birth certificate blow huge holes in this version of events that Meghan and Harry originally sold to the world. Details that were conveniently scrubbed or altered to protect their narrative blindly. For one, the document inexplicably lists Harry's first name as simply Henry Charles Albert David, omitting his experienced prince prefix. An abnormal move considering all his relatives' birth certs used the regal title without issue. Why would that be, pray tell? Could it be because Meghan and Harry knew they were planning their exit from the royal family, the firm, even before Archie's conception, just casually stripping away Harry's birthright on the official paperwork as a sly middle finger to the crown and all of its traditions? It would certainly fit the vengeful publicity-craving pattern we've seen from these two. The palace bashing institution undermining glory chasing breadcrumb trail that suggests Harry and Meghan were hell bent on severance from the monarchy all along maybe they were already prepared to illegally misuse Harry's titles and heritage on Archie's certificate as a brazen first move or maybe there's an even darker conspiracy theory at play here one that Lady Colin alluded to with her fiery accusations perhaps that missing prince prefix isn't just circumstantial evidence of a rogue plot against the royals, but a glaring red flag that Archie might not have actually been Harry's biological son to begin with. I know, that's a heavy conclusion to draw without hardcore proof, but hear me out for a second, because the more you scrutinise the sketchy backstory around Archie's conception and birth, the more it reeks of the same obfuscated secrecy and paranoid staging that Meghan is known for. I'm not saying I've got definitive proof that Meghan sourced a wife-approved rental baby to pass off as Harry's heir. To be clear, I'm simply acknowledging the obvious reality that nothing about their official tale passes the sniff test for authenticity. So if Lady Colin has indeed uncovered a comprehensive money trail, doctored document or witness testimonies that blow the lid off this, would any of us be even surprised at this point? Meghan has already shown the world she's a seasoned scammer from her orchestrated fake pap shots. 
Even if we suspend belief and pretend Archie is Harry's biological kid for argument's sake, how depraved do you have to be as a parent shamelessly to lie and manipulate and illegally misrepresent your own children's lineage? I'm sorry, but that's not the behavior of a rational or moral human being, let alone a responsible guardian. So in many ways, it's just the latest chapter in the same depressing saga of the two tremendously privileged narcissists utterly squandering their good fortunes out of unearned arrogance and self-importance. A sad tale, really. And now the chickens are coming home to roost in spectacular fashion, with irrefutable proof that their sloppily constructed Archie party grift was always a load of bunk from the start. The question is now, how did Buckingham Palace and King Charles choose to respond to the latest humiliation? No, this level of institutional sabotage and unbridled contempt for the monarchy's values demands the full legal hammer. The palace could recognise the entire Archie birth scandal as such an utter omnishambles of depraved lies and humiliation. Forget worrying about stripping their petty titles or scrambling royal attorneys. Instead, treat the wayward spares like the insignificant Hollywood celebrities that they always wanted to become. Ignore their desperate bids for renewed viability through tabloid stunts like this and begin the process of erasing the toxicity of the Sussex brand forever. So, guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. What on earth did you think about this? We really want to hear what you think in the comments, guys, and we really appreciate it if you would leave something for us there to read and get back to you on. And also, if you have any suggestions for new content to cover, also do hit us up there and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So, if you want more content like today's juicy, juicy bit, I'll be back soon with more oof, scalding hot tea for you guys to enjoy. But before closing in, you know the drill. Let's get down to it, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us to pump up those numbers, and we will always be forever grateful. And also share the video with your friends. That would also be very helpful as well. So we just want to say before we close, a massive thank you for your love and support. It really is a really big help for us here, guys, and it lets us continue doing what we do. So, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day or evening, wherever you may be. And until next time, we will see you again for more epic, off-the-wall, royal news and delicious analysis. That's goodbye from me for now, guys. Goodbye.